Delta neutral strategies have been a big part of the Terra ecosystem since its inception. And with that, Aperture comes out of beta. So let's dive in. So we've all heard of Delta neutral strategies before. In short, you deposit some stable coins into Anchor and get yourself some AUST, the yield bearing representation of UST. You then head on over to Mirror Protocol and short a synthetic asset with a nice premium with around half of the balance. And then with the other half, you just buy spot and you are essentially covering or hedging your bet. You're covered if the price moves in either direction in theory, and you can farm the rewards provided for providing liquidity into these positions. It's incredibly complex, and a few other protocols have intended to achieve this, but it's kind of just got sidelined. So, Enter Aperture, a project developed by ex Amazon, Google, Netflix employees, some re really seriously big brain stuff. So, Aperture, as per its homepage, Cross-chain investment made easy. They intend to be a portal to DeFi investment, a marketplace for strategy, cross-chain enabled and community driven. As Lunatics, we love this community driven thing. We have a huge community of Luna followers and I think that it's important that projects understand and capitalize on this. Long-term, they're looking to incorporate all sorts of great ideas. Again, branching out into other chains, networks, protocols. For instance, ideas like having a marketplace to generate community strategies, and you can see this in their documentation. On their homepage, you can see a lot of really cool graphics that talk about their product offerings. There's Invest, there's Invest Plus. It's actually an SDK that is being implemented that enables the community to tap into various resources and allow them to develop strategies on the back of Aperture 2. Again, some information about the team, who they are, where they went to school, where they've worked previously, and obviously where they've been featured. There's some pretty big articles been written about these guys. So on the homepage, just click on Launch App. It will launch the Aperture Finance application. It will prompt you to connect your wallet like any other Terra application. So once you get into the Aperture DAP, there is also the documentation. You can go ahead and click on this. So in short, Aperture is an app store and a one-stop solution for cross-chain DeFi investment strategies and opportunities. Our apps create one-click executions for DeFi's best yield farming strategies, regardless of chain. So, so Terra for the time being, but you very, very much well likely may see these guys branching out into other chains in the not too distant future. So if we head on over to the Aperture Invest, this is what I'm talking about. This is what a delta neutral position looks like. So in this graphical example, you can see just how complex these delta neutral strategies can be. As I mentioned, some money goes into Anchor, you keep some of the UST, you take a short position with the AUST, you buy some of the stock at spot, you end up with liabilities, you end up with short positions, you end up with risk. There's a lot to take on. If you sit down and go through the steps sensibly, it's not that difficult to achieve, but at the same time, it's kind of a bit of a pain in the backside. It would be easier if somebody simplified this for us. Thank you, Aperture. So the beauty of it is that it has shortened an incredibly complex strategy down into a few simple pieces. First of all, you only need UST. You don't need an LP or you don't need to deposit into Anchor. You don't need anything other than to provide UST. Secondly, all you need to do is select how risky you want to be. Obviously, the more risk you take, the more you stand to gain, whilst at the same time, the more you stand to lose. Alternatively, you could do the opposite, take less risk and earn less. However, these are delta neutral strategies, so theoretically you should be covered but let's take a look into the docs and see what they highlight as risks. So there are four main ones that they're highlighting here. Liquidation risks, as explained above, there is a short position, a liability that you will eventually need to pay back in the portfolio. And that position is subject to liquidation risks. For the same example, if the Square stock rises by 50%, your underlying asset, Mirrored Square, which mimics the stock price, will also grow by 50%. 
The same amount of AUST as collateral won't be enough to maintain the original 200% collateral ratio anymore. Second one is deviation from delta neutral. Any change in the demand or price of merged square will have an impact on the merged square UST pair that you state. For example, if the price of mirrored square goes up, part of your mirrored square will be swapped to UST. And the dynamic balance of your mirrored square UST pair will tip towards the UST side of your UST holding outweighing that mirrored square holding. From the liquidity provider perspective, this is considered um, to be a permanent loss. However, if you look at the whole portfolio with less mirrored square than before, you end up with a net short position um, which means part of your position is not hedged by a long position. Rebalancing is needed to return this whole thing to delta neutral. Third, price fluctuation of the reward tokens. So besides the AUST collateral, which earns you a stable rate of approximately 20%, for now, I know that that's changing to dynamic yield rate, but stay with me here. The yield is distributed in the form of protocol tokens such as Mirror and Spectrum, which are subject to price fluctuation. If the price is on the rise and the token you receive as a reward will be worth more and vice versa. From an investment strategy perspective, regularly selling these tokens and reinvesting will be a way to eliminate that uncertainty. And finally, insufficient exit liquidity. Some may be concerned that there might not be sufficient liquidity in the market when they want to exit. While this is a valid concern for trading synthetic stock tokens in general, it does not apply to delta neutral strategies because when you choose to exit, you're just canceling out your positions. So there's no need to worry about that. Now, that was a bit chatty, but I think it's important that you understand this and to not sort of go blindly marching on to this protocol. This category is a bit different. It's quite complex. It's difficult to understand. So just make sure you know what you're getting yourself in for. However, with all that being said, Fear not, they have built in an automatic rebalancing and liquidation protection mechanism. This happens on the protocol around every five minutes to mitigate the effects of impermanent loss. Anyway, enough about the delta neutral strategies. We've talked a lot about them in the past. We've made a video about them in the past. A lot of the other lunatic YouTubers have also made content around delta neutral strategies in the past also. So let's dive in. Let's see what this platform looks like. Let's take a position and see how it goes. So let's dive in and see what these ratios look like. A note here, you can see that the Yield Labs tutorial wallet is connected. There is a couple of thousand dollars in there. The minimum investment currently is 2000 UST. Make sure that you're aware of that. I know that that perhaps places it out of a few of you guys' reach, but it's important to know that these opportunities exist. If you look over to the right hand side, you can see the APRs. If we sort by low to high, let's go with ETH because the APR is looking really, really nice right now, 80%. The strategy is going to be Delta Neutral Mirrored ETH. It is one of the Invest Plus strategies. Again, I mentioned that there is a 2000 UST minimum. Now we can click on fees and settings. So there's some really useful information here. The estimated gas fees, the non-aperture fee, and the performance fee of 10%. Now, you might think, hold on, 10%? Yes, that does seem kind of large, but the performance fee is on the profit made, not the total position. So really, it's not a huge impact. And besides, it's a delta neutral way of earning this really high yield, and I don't think that that is a terrible price to pay. The slider for the collateral ratio can be played with now. The default collateral ratio is 270%. This would net you 15% APR for the first 14 days, which at this point the position is converted to or is then actually seen as a long farm where it bumps from 15% up to nearly 80%. You can also see if you slide the slider all the way up to the top, 400%, you are not losing an enormous amount of yield. So you are increasing your safety buffer and having much less um, I'm sorry, requiring much more of a move for you to be flagged for liquidation. You can see there it's 167% if you are using a collateral ratio of 400%. Let's go ahead and click deposit. It'll give you the wallet prompt. Type in my password. 
and then it'll take us back to the home screen. So once we're at the home screen, we can go over to the portfolio page, click on portfolio. You can then go down to the Delta Neutral Mirrored ETH strategy, which is the bottom of the three boxes there, and it will show you how your strategy is performing. Another thing to note is that don't forget about the weekends, guys. As always, the stock market will cease trading and you will not be able to open or close any synthetic stock positions. Don't forget also that any of these positions over here on Aperture Finance need a 2000 US dollar minimum investment. That's pretty much it for today's overview on Aperture. We'll come back to it in a couple of weeks, see how this position has been performing. Let me know your thoughts on Aperture. Are you going to get involved? What upcoming features are you excited for? Please like, comment and subscribe if you aren't already and I will catch you in the next one. Stay awesome guys.